Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited. Uh, this isn't quite a barn find, but this is a Grand Junction find. Today's video is on a 2023 Newmar Dutch Star that we've had out in Grand Junction. So you've never seen the video on this coach. And let me tell you, it is beautiful. So as usual, I like to start my videos from the inside out. Jody, go ahead and take her on back. Uh, today's video is on a 4071. This is a fantastic all new floor plan for 2023. It has the updated Freightliner chassis. It also has the updated telematics system, which allows you to operate the coach from your phone. And it has an all new configuration, giving you a very generous bath and a half with a single sink in the back. So I can't wait to show you through this coach. Uh, this is just a gorgeous uh, floor plan. One of the things that I really like about it is the shower. This is a 30 by 40 shower. And what's so nice about this shower is it has the Aquaview shower system. It also has this really beautiful tile backsplash. And as you can see, we have our teak bench. We've got soap shelves, so places to hold things. Let me go ahead and put the shower head up for us. Uh, so this tall shower head is very adjustable, which is really nice. Uh, but you can put your shampoo and conditioner on this shelf and not worry about it moving while you're in transit. And then also, as you can see, we have the Aquaview shower water saving system. Of course, this coach has a 105 gallon tank, but instead of recycling, or instead of pouring that water directly into your 60 gallon gray water tank, this coach will actually recycle your water back into your 105 gallon freshwater tank. And then when you flip this little switch here, it will recycle that water or stop recycling that water and give you uh, shower head or shower water either through your overhead or through this wand that you have here. This wand of course mounts on an adjustable slide so you can change the height of it. And we also have our assist handles. So really cool feature there. Also you'll see we have our emergency egress door. Uh, above the egress door you'll note that we do have our blinds and you'll see that there's some switches to the right there. That is because this coach has the optional power MCD shades. So these are power shades. You've got uh, buttons right here so you don't need to remember your uh, controller when you are in the bathroom. You can go ahead and operate those shades right here while you're using the restroom. So if you are taking a shower and you need to get dressed, you can go ahead and just do that right here instead of having to go find that remote. Now here also is our egress door. Now this is handy not just for, uh, you know, escaping in case there's an emergency. Here's our great ladder which deploys and as you can see is reusable. But this is also a great place just to load in linens, uh, to take any kind of, uh, you know, your uh, towels out at the end of your camping trip, etc. And then also a nice feature that's changed for 2023 is we've got these hard buttons so you can actually see there's a little red indicator light for when your black tank is full. That is a 40 gallon black tank. There's also a little yellow light for when it's starting to get uh, starting to get up there and you need to consider dumping it. And then your flush has got a push button that's actually hard for up and down. And of course down is to drain the water uh, and then up is to fill the tank. This is really nice because on mine I actually have a hard time at night feeling where that button is. So I have to kind of fiddle around with it. So I do like that hard, uh, hard button that they've changed. Look at all of this cabinet space. Uh, a lot of deep storage here, as you can see. And then little details like this chain, which keep it from bumping into your Lamborquin are just really nice. Of course, this is the new 2023 interior. And I love all of the space that we have and this lighter color wood. This is just a really beautiful color combination. As you can see here, plenty of room for a flat iron or a hair dryer, uh, all of those things. You could even plug in uh, one of those magnifying mirrors. And if you'd like to have a place to sit and do your makeup, you even have this handy little place here for your cotton swabs and Q-tips and the like. So this is just a great little hidden compartment. You also have a place here for your toilet paper and any kind of supplies that you need for your tank. And of course, we're sitting on top of a very beautiful porcelain throne. Now, another thing that I really like about this bathroom is the fact that you have all of this cabinet space. So additional hanging space here in the cabinet. You can see also long space. So if you do have something longer, maybe wetsuits, maybe a nice dress for the campsite that you're staying at if they've got a good five-star resort restaurant, um, all of those things can be housed in here. And then also in the back here, we have our uh, optional safe. 
Another great feature of this coach that I like a lot is I'm a big fan of small drawer storage to keep things like underwear and bathing suits, you know, the stuff that you just don't have a lot of. So these are really nice, of course, all soft closed doors. And then another great little cubby down there. This is a great place if you had anything like, like your hiking boots that you wanted to be able to keep maybe in the back. And then look at all of these drawers again. Once again, this is just a really, really nice bathroom. You have six total drawers. So great drawer space, two that are deeper on each side. And then one, of course, that's a little more shallow. Again, all soft clothes. And then a nice little place here for linens. We also have a beautiful undermount sink. I love the glass basin on this. It pairs so well with our nice dark faucets. And then underneath we have uh, power outlets on both sides. So this is a great place if you've got like a, you know, a water flosser or a power toothbrush, you can do that. And there's plenty of room on this countertop for all of those things. We have our robe hook right here across the way. And then you'll also see over here, we have our floor heat control. So this coach does have floor heat. So it's got high, medium, and low. And this is one of the zones. Uh, what's really nice about this floor heat is that you could actually have, for instance, a uh, you could have your floor heat turned on in the bathroom so that your toes don't get cold. You could have your air conditioning in your bedroom. And then you could use your three zone or your dual zone climate control uh, in the front, giving you a nice warm compartment to get up and make coffee in. So really pretty fantastic isolation of heat and cool in this coach. Here's our stackable Splendid washer and dryer. This is, of course is an optional feature, uh, but with all of the hanging storage in this coach, I don't think that you'll find you need any more. Um, I really, really love uh, this floor plan. Now, let me see if I can do this. Here, Jody, let's trade places. I want you to go ahead and show us this cathedral ceiling. So one of the differentiating features of this coach is when you leave the Mentana and go into the Dutch Star, you get this cathedral ceiling. Uh, that's a really nice feature. You also get an inset full length mirror. So I get to show off my fantastic cameraman. Uh, so these are definitely some of the differentiating features. Another differentiating feature of these, this uh, 40 foot Dutch Star is that you are also going to have an independent front suspension on this coach and then also all tile floors. So you'll see that in the Ventana, normally this little portion here would be carpet, but we have more floor in the Dutch Star. So this gives us an all tile floor because this whole entire full wall slide is on a hydraulic jet or hydraulic lift that comes up and slides in. Now above that, uh, that tile floor, you also have again, two additional hanging spaces for your wardrobe. I love these full extension drawers that come all the way out past so that you can get into the way back even at the top drawer right underneath that wardrobe. And then you'll note that this little tuck in is because you have a bed that does not fold in half. And then over here on the left, you'll see we have our hydronic vent. So this is going to be for your hydronic heat. And then right above the chair rail, we've got this beautiful smoky mirror just giving you all that extra room. And then you can also see this really cool backlighting that they have. Uh, these, these new backlights for 2023 are just fantastic. So of course, in the 2023, we updated all of the cabinetry. I really think that this is just a very sophisticated, very clean look. So great, great appearance there. Uh, we've got a 43 inch uh, smart TV. If you have Apple CarPlay, I'm not sorry, not Apple CarPlay. This coach also has Apple CarPlay in 2023. Uh, but no, if you have uh, Apple television or Hulu, you can play all of those things on this television. Uh, this coach also has the SK100 satellite dish, which is a pop-up as well as the in motion satellite dish. So this coach is fully equipped to get you down the road uh, with a subscription to dish. So that's also a great feature. Underneath the bed, you'll see that we have these two 11 inch uh, extensions for the table. So this is 22 inches of extra seating space. And then also our really nice folding chairs. I'll show you where those come into play. But first I just wanted to show that if you would like to keep a CPAP machine underneath or just use this for extra storage, you've got great storage on either side. And of course the way that Numar does this a few years back, they've discovered with the King Air that it's great to be able to actually run your cords out of the top there. You can keep everything sewed in there while you're going down the road. Uh, but then if you have cords that you need for your different apparatus, whether it be your cell phone or your laptop, you've got all of those things right there at hand's reach. And then on top of it, 
You also have two 110 outlets up here, as well as grommets that go through so you could run cords here and have them drop out of the out next to the headboard as well. Again, all power shades in this coach. Um, I really like the way, again, that they have this very clean look with these Lambrequins. It's nice to have this solid wood on all of the sides, just keeping it from being uh, easier to get soiled. So this is gonna be a very easy to keep clean coach. And I just love this nice beige interior. This is a really beautiful uh, look. Definitely one of our best selling interiors of 2023. Uh, so um, Bayshore is seen less frequently than Colfax, uh, but the Bayshore is going to be very similar in that Colfax exterior, or sorry, Colfax interior is a nice light gray. This is gonna be a nice light beige. Uh, also, when we get into the Dutch Star, we get, again, all of these solid maple doors are uh, full panels. As you can see, they're really nice and sturdy, so great separation. But on the Ventana, this would be a flat panel as opposed to this nice decorative insert. So as you go up in coach, there's different little nuances that you'll see. Um, they also have a whole new uh, design feature ceiling. So that's a beautiful new feature. And then all of this is uh, cloaked in our glacier glazed maple high gloss finish. So that's newly available to us. Uh, we were always um, kind of stuck with this with the matte, but in a coach like this where you really want to have that pop and that elegance, this, this high gloss finish is just beautiful. Um, so again, this is the Bayshore interior with the glacier glazed maple. The 4071 is a bath and a half model. So here's that half bath. And I think what's really important to point out in this bath is that it's super roomy. And again, if you're the early riser and you want to use this restroom to do your makeup, you could also have that here. So this is a great location and you have tons of cabinet space all the way back, deep cabinets. they are turn this little watch off. Put us on theater mode. And then here's behind the medicine cabinet. Again, one of those little chains just to keep things from bonking, which is so nice. And then underneath, another chain, as you can see, more storage, another little chain here, and then another drawer here. And again, that new switch for your toilet. And of course, this is a nice porcelain throne, so very comfortable. And then a beautiful vessel sink on top of this counter with the nice, again, dark smoked faucets. So great feature here. Uh, up above, you'll see that we have our uh, one of our fantastic fans. And I'll show you, you can control those from the inside of this bathroom. Um, and by the way, this door pivots. So this does let you get in and out of the coach a restroom while you're going down the road. Uh, but you can also control these fantastic fans here through this new 10 inch dash. This is new for 2023. Again, this can be paired to your phone. So that's a super convenient feature. You can control all of your lighting here. You can turn your accent lighting on and off. Everything can be done right here with the touch of a button. So very, very cool. You can turn everything on or everything off without having to get uh, out of your bed though. You can do all of these same things on your phone. But here's your fan control. So for the kitchen, the stool room and the rear bathroom, you've got the fan control for those fantastic fans. You also have your front, mid and back for your floor heat. You can read all of your power systems and uh, you can also just have a shortcut where you can see how everything looks, gray, black and uh, freshwater tank settings all here from the center console. This is a very nice new feature for Numar. Um, for those of you that have been out on the road, uh, you know, for a long time RVing, you're familiar with um, the other systems that we have, for instance, on Renegade, uh, where you have controls on your phone and Numar really hasn't had those until 2023. And I assure you, they make everything just so much easier to, to operate in your coach. Another great feature of this coach this started back in 21 where they did these push button release shelves, but you've got six full extension shelves and they go all the way in, all the way out. And they are just really, really nice because you can reach all the way back so you can get full use out of them. And um, in previous videos, I used to mention that they are adjustable and certainly they are, but it's not without being pretty handy. So if you decide that you'd like to have these adjusted, it may behoove you to have them adjusted while ordering your coach in advance. Uh, so this is a 19.7 cubic foot refrigerator, beautiful refrigerator. I love this little adjustable shelf. It's one of my favorite features in my RV. Uh, and then I like the meat drawer. You've got fruits and veggies as well as your freezer. 
with an ice tray and there is a water filter for the door and the ice as well. Um, it's easy to install. And this is a second filter for this coach. This coach also has what is referred to as a whole house water filter. So dual filtration in your water on the door, which is great. A lot of us have those Brita's. You don't need to have a Brita when you have a Dutch star. Uh, so here you'll see we also have our central vac system. And while we're down here, we can take a look at this floor. So this floor is actually really beautiful. Um, I know that uh, Meredith and Andrew in ordering these coaches really took to this uh, beautiful floor. This is out of the new air. So this new air flooring is different than you'll see in all of the other coaches. Uh, just like you'll notice that this, this uh, material on the couch is also different. So what they've done with this is they've actually swapped out, let me just show you this darker material. So they've got this darker material uh, that you can see on the insets here. This was actually the predominant uh, color throughout this coach. And what they did is they swapped this lighter accent with this darker accent, giving you all of these lovely uh, white couches in this RV. And one of the things that's important to mention on this is this coach is really light and airy. It's very, very bright on a dark day. So typically if you're gonna be camping, you'll be outside. Uh, the only time you're really going to be in your coach is either at night or whenever it's you know kind of gloomy outside maybe raining and this is a great bright environment uh, but this is a synthetic material although it feels just like leather uh, it's got a really nice soft handle to it it is 100 percent easy to clean all you need is some myers dish soap a little bit of a sponge and you'll be good to go so you don't have to worry about having uh your RV look uh, soiled because you've got this lighter interior. You can have the benefit of the light interior and still have um, that easy to clean surface. You don't have to go with dark couches. Now I don't normally show this, but this is just adjust this is just held up by a magnet. So this is the additional uh, reinforcement you have for your table. Again, you put those 22 inch inserts here, but you'll notice this is really nice. Your salt and pepper can stay here and then you have this great shelf here. So this is a new floor plan for 2023. The 4071 gives you a, a starboard side dinette as opposed to a port side dinette and it flips the kitchen. So now your kitchen is opposite of this table. And what's so nice about this is if you are really enjoying um, the beautiful views of the lake, wherever it is that you're parked, Everything is right outside of this window. So when you wake up in the morning and you have your breakfast, this is a great place to be able to sit. Also, you'll note that in this kitchen, because we've got this on the port side, we've got a really nice, very clean walkway. So this is a great walking space. We will show you the coach completely closed in. Now you'll note here, we do have our extra paint. Uh, this interior or this exterior is a custom exterior. Nobody else will have your coach if you end up with this 2023. Um, now, as usual, we have our really nice cutting boards on the back of our, of our stove covers. And then we have our removable true induction cooktop, which is great for taking outside to make uh, fish or bacon, anything that you don't want to smell up your coach. And then I also just love the fact that you can put this back into place without the cooktop and still use this counter space. We've got this wonderful glass tile we also have our optional dishwasher here. Lots of room. It's a great place, not just to do dishes, but to keep all of your dishes while they're drying so they're not uh, all over your countertop. Gives you so much more counter space in this coach. But they've just done such a great job making this such a roomy galley. I really like the fact that your refrigerator is right next to your countertop. Uh, you also have your Whirlpool microwave and a convection oven. So again, you can cook cookies in this or bake cookies, if you will, or microwave a burrito. It does both things. Uh, you can set it to 350 degrees or you can set it for five minutes, whatever you prefer. Uh, great counters or great uh, cabinet space here for all of your dishes. Or if you have a coffee maker, any of those larger items, a rice cooker, you could keep those all up there. Uh, this dual basin sink is really nice. You've got a smaller vegetable side and a larger prep side. Again, all of these really beautiful smoked faucets with pour and spray. This does have the optional uh, kitchen window as well. And then we'll just take a look under this farm style sink to see those sink covers stowed down below, as well as your trash can. Plenty of room for supplies. And again, 
plenty of room underneath here if you want to keep something that has maybe all of your kitchen towels, uh, anything along those lines, lots of room down below. And then just to the right of that, we see our theater seating. So in our theater seating, oh, I wanted to measure these. Uh, these are nice and wide. So in the recliner versus the theater seat, which is a constant debate, these are almost 30 inches wide. They're just at 29 inches wide. So if you are a little healthier, or perhaps you have a puppy, this would be a great place for you. If not, for me, I'm a little bit in the middle. So I would probably want to have a pillow, which is why I brought this one from the bedroom just to show you. Um, but this could be very comfortable, even though it is a very wide theater seat. And I do think that this coach screams small white dog. I'm just saying little Belle would be so happy here. That's not even all the way out. I should go all the way. So for those of you that ask me if you could sleep here, I would say absolutely. This would be a great place to take a nice little siesta in the afternoon. And of course, this is, a, this is opposite our uh, television. So I'll go ahead and pop up that 50 inch smart TV right now. Uh, so again, this is a 50 inch 4K smart TV. Great display, lots and lots of color, uh, very nice, crisp, clear screen. And again, something that you can use. Uh, this coach has the optional Aspen Wi-Fi system. So the higher end of the Wi-Fi systems. And then again, those two, uh, those both of those uh, satellite receivers giving you really full telematics if you're into sports or if you're you know just looking for something for the kids uh, on a gloomy day this is a great coach for you and then this has the tri-fold sofa so we'll just show this to you quickly uh, what's nice about this uh, this setup is you're going to have two seat belts here and then in the theater seats you'll also have two seat belts so you've got a total of six seat belts in this coach if you do have company and this is a really nice, comfortable sofa. As you can see, the important thing is, is that these breaks happen where your hips are. So your shoulder and your hips are both fully supported in this coach. Very comfortable place to sleep. Um, or just don't tell your friends you have it and that you only have sleep, sleeping for two. Uh, what's the rule of RVs? Dinner for, uh, or drinks for, drinks for six, dinner for four, and sleeps too. That's the rules for RVs. Um, I tell you, there's a lot of people out there breaking the rules though. This would be a really nice coach to take your family out camping in for sure. Or a nice coach for you just to enjoy on your own. Now here on the 4071, again, we have so much additional storage. Take a look at all of this storage. And this is unencumbered, so there's no wiring above it. And these go back, this one's 22 inches deep. This is actually t almost 24 inches deep. And then from a width standpoint, uh, this is about 26 inches wide. So really big uh, storage in here. Uh, certainly something worth noting. Uh, in terms of the windows above the theater seats, you get these great windows that pop up. We actually got a client that ordered a 4081 with recliners, but they wanted this window set. Please note, if this is something like where you like these windows better than the ones that come in the model that you're looking at, we can special order these coaches and really get them down to exactly what you're looking for. Uh, so we'll just cover a little bit more in terms of storage. This is what I was talking about with that wiring. So there is wiring underneath this cabinet here. But keep in mind, this, or keep in mind, this coach is built with 16 on-center uh, residential style framing with C-channel built in. So not only do you see the wires are tucked conveniently underneath these beautiful cabinets, but also throughout the coach where they have this aluminum C-channel, the C-channel has holes through it so they are actually able to wire your coach through that aluminum frame. These windows are actually set in the aluminum frame as is your safe. This is making for a very, very secure, very, very, um, uh, very, very um, robust, build quality and you can have uh, your actual residential inserts uh, for your um, for your bat insulation. So as opposed to having windows that are set in maybe foam and floating, these are actually set in aluminum and then you actually have residential bat insulation in this coach. And one of the things that's super great about Numar is not only the quiet going down the road, but also the flooring here will keep the heat out on a hot day or keep the heat in on a cool day. So cool in the summer, warm in the winter, especially again, you've got 
two 15,000 BTU air conditioner and heat pumps in this beautiful floor with all of your ductwork hidden. Uh, you also have your heated floors and then you also have your hydronic heat. So really, really great feature there. Um, I did want to show underneath here. So the storage on the um, Euro booth is a little bit more shallow. So for those of you that are using this underneath, I keep my plates and bowls here. I would probably be relegated to keeping my plates in just my placemats. Um, also underneath here, you'll see that there is a little bit of a bump out, but for two people, I think I have a lot of people who talk about having your knees touch. So first of all, this table is not too high, right? It's very comfortable. Um, second of all, my knees will not touch my partner's knees when I'm sitting at this table. So very, very roomy, if you will. Um, now let's go ahead and move up to the front and talk about, um, we'll show off, of course, this is a great little place. I keep my crystal champagne flutes. Yes, I go camping with crystal champagne flutes. Hey, we always have to celebrate, right? But I keep those in there along with my remotes. Uh, but this is a great place to keep water bottles, um, anything that you have going down the road. And then of course, it's just nice to have a little end table as well. You'll note that we have USB ports and 110 outlets all over the coach. So there's some here as well. They're on either side of this big window as well. So lots and lots of room there. And then wireless charging docks. So you've got your wireless charging pad here. Also want to show off this beautiful step cover. So this is a nice durable step cover, but if you do have littles or a puppy that might be traveling with you, you don't have to worry about your pooch falling into the hole while you're going down the road. Or if your coach uh, decides to slam on the brakes because this does have the optional uh, safety system. So this coach does have not only the 360 camera, but also the on guard uh, collision mitigation system. This coach will actually help you to stop in the case if someone's slamming on their brakes in front of you, this coach will assist you in braking as well. Um, now I did mention that little camera system. So let's just go take a quick look at that. And camera control, there we go. So one of the things that I really like about this camera system is the 360, as you can see, will show you everything. Like I know, for instance, that Avin hasn't remembered to open my bay doors yet. Avin, open my bay doors. <laughs> but as you can see, I can see all through and around the coach. I can see different sides of the coach. Um, so, oh, watch, we're gonna catch Avin on camera. Here he comes, he's gonna come out here and open the doors. Let's see if we get him. Do we see him yet? Oh, he's, oh, that's, that's his van. He's on the other, he's on the, there he is. There's Avin opening the bay doors for me. Just so you know, guys, one of the things that we have uh, working for us here at TransWest is a fantastic team that supports us in this video program that we bring to you so that you can learn about our product. Uh, and Avin's, Avin's the guy behind the magic. Okay, so nice storage here for some sunglasses in your wallet. Nice little compartment here also for your cell phone, but on the left-hand side, you'll see there's a wireless charging pad that faces you. Uh, so if you are using Google in combination with your nav and go system, you can actually have both of those where you're looking at them in your cockpit. This of course is the new cockpit for 2023 by Freightliner. A uh, few things to mention. Uh, we have a stock control for your transmission, which puts everything into reverse neutral or drive. Um, you also have an eco mode, which gives you better fuel efficiency. Um, you've got your lane tracking package with mobile eye. Here is your cruise control. So you can set that cruise control to follow closely a little bit further away. Or as you can see, we have this one set to the furthest following distance. That's what you would use, of course, going down the highway on the open road. Uh, over here on the left, you'll see because our Allison transmission is on our stock control, we have a little more room for your elbow next to our HWH hydraulic leveling system. You also have a power driver min, uh, mirror window and you also have power mirrors with heat. So great setup here. Um, again, lots and lots of nice controls. And then in terms of your, um, your steering column or your steering wheel, a lot of these features that we'll talk about uh, are certainly important, but I think the most important is that you can actually get through and see your steering effort your fuel economy, all of these things with just the touch of a button. So really, really nice features there. Uh, your steering effort, they've given you a shortcut button, but what that is in regards to is going to be your comfort drive steering. And of course, that's what keeps this wheel tracking straight down the road, 
giving you a lot less driver fatigue. And when I say a lot less driver fatigue, uh, it is really an amazing feature uh, that helps out just a ton, especially with crosswinds. If you've got a heavy crosswind, this uh, Comfort Drive steering is really going to differentiate the Numar against any other manufacturer. And again, here on this uh, particular floor plan, or not floor plan, but model in the Dutch Star, we have an independent front suspension. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention though, which I think is really important, is there are 11 floor plans. Uh, there's three that are 37s, two that are 40, and six that are 43. But on this, uh, on this tag axle 40 foot floor plan, so the 40 foot is where you get your first tag. Because of the tag, it's a 252 inch wheelbase. That is a tiny wheelbase. So if you're looking for maneuverability, by far this coach is the one that just sits right there in the middle. It's gonna get you into all the parks and it's gonna get you the easiest to park, smallest turning radius with the best supported, uh, supported suspension. This tag axle provides you a 15,000 pound towing capacity. That's right, 15,000 pounds on this coach which is really, really nice. Um, now let's just go into the overhead controls here. This is gonna be your Razor antenna. As I mentioned earlier, we've got our wine guard system with two different antennas. We've got our Everest system for our Wi-Fi, our inverter here. This is gonna be for your Gerard awnings. I do have those deployed today, it's not too windy. We've got our Oasis system here. Uh, you can run your burner heat, which is gonna run off of your diesel tank or AC1 or AC1 and two, which is gonna run off of 50 amp. This is going to be responsible for not only your, uh, he your heat, but also for your tankless hot water. So there's no hot water heater on this coach. And then here, we're gonna go ahead and pull these slides in. Jody's gonna go ahead and flip around and show us uh, that hydraulic lift, bringing uh, the coach height or the coach side up and then in. Uh, so this is just a really, really nice feature here. Uh, one of the things that these uh, hydraulic slides have done for Numar is given us the ability to have uh, not only uh, all tile floor, but also this, uh, we're able to get this 4071 floor plan where we've got the dinette on the uh, starboard or passenger side, which is a really big deal to a lot of people. This is a very big trend right now. Um, but as I mentioned, one of the things that's so nice about this is the way that they've done this is given us this kitchen that has this bigger walking space. So for those of us that have big dogs or mobility issues, as you can see, I'm not stepping up on anything. I'm able to walk completely flat footed all the way back here and then I can even access my restroom. So this is gonna be a great coach for those of us who are looking for a little bit of more mobility going down the road. If you're out there camping uh, and you spend more time driving uh, between destinations than some of our other folks, like for instance, I got clients that have King Airs, they'll put four or 5,000 miles on that coach per year. It'll park at Indio and then it'll park at Steelhead. If you're one of those people though, that's out and about and really making these road trips, this 4071 floor plan has great walking space uh, all the way down, not only for people, but for our fine furry friends. I know that our pets are one of the most important uh, con considerations that we have uh, when we're purchasing coaches. But look at this, this is just, like I said, flat footed the whole way down, really, really nice walking space. Um, in this RV. So now on our way out, I just want to point out a few little things. Um, this is really nice screen door does actually deploy up so that you can actually get your view out of the side here. You also have this big sweeping huge front window and again as we mentioned mobile eye lane tracking package as well as the on guard uh, collision mitigation system and drive assist. Another feature worth mentioning is it's really easy to get in and out of this coach. There's all sorts of handles to be able to hold in on your way in and on your way out. Another feature certainly worth mentioning, this is the extra wide uh, queen seat and this does have the heated seat feature. That is an option. Uh, this is a full recliner and it does turn all the way around. And then here you'll see that we also have power door locks so we can unlock and lock our bay doors by power right here not only at this switch but also out here on the exterior handle so that's a great feature um, of course you know what that means is as you're getting out and ready for your day you can go ahead and uh, you know walk away from your coach 
push the one button to lock those that those that coach, but also to lock all the bay doors so that you don't have to worry about whether or not uh, you left it open uh, while you were um, or when you leave. So if you've got any valuables underneath or maybe your paddle boards, it's really nice to know that you can just simply lock one button touch all the doors at once without having to drag your keys around. Oh, I did want to show you this. So this is a, just a nice little feature. I have people tell me all the time they might use this for uh, pet food. They might use it for uh, shoes as I've heard shoes recently. Um, so whatever it might be that you'd like, it's just nice to have something that's right there so you don't have to enter the coach. And then you've got this great pass through too. So even if the screen's deployed, you can open this up, hand drinks through, beverages, and then Again, nice solid door. I do have our awning deployed here. It's just nice to know that if you do have company that comes over and rings your doorbell right here, they can stand underneath if it's a little drizzly outside. And then as you can see here, I've got our full extension awnings. Now this is an optional awning package, but this elbow does such a good job at actually tilting down and giving us a little more relief from the sun. And then as you can see here, I've got our, Dom our Dometic out on the slide. And this does extend all the way out. So if you have your slide deployed, you still have access to your icy cold beverages. And you can set these to either be freezer or refrigerator. Um, the introduction of the shelf up above has just made everything that much easier to store. And then here, as you can see, we have our full extension pass-through trays. These are 1,000 pound weight lift or weight rated and they come all the way out to 60% so you can get to the middle of the tray even with the slide again deployed. Uh, we've got some of that porcelain tile here uh, that is extra porcelain tile, uh, but please take note. If you take a look underneath here at the star foundation, you can see above the chassis rail. That is because uh, star stands for strong, true, and robust. This is raising the coach up off of the chassis rail, preventing uh, a slide, or, I'm sorry, tile popping and cracking in the future. It also takes this heavier portion of the coach and takes that center of gravity and brings it down low. So this is built on the Freightliner chassis. This is a 450 horsepower engine uh, with a 1,250 1, uh, foot-pound of torque rating. This is the Cummins ISL or 8.9 liter Cummins engine. Uh, but on this Freightliner chassis, not only do you have this fa fantastic star foundation, but you also have uh, different things that are going to give you better stability going down the road. So this coach is not going to have that sway or that tilt that you feel when you're going through the mountains. And in 2023, they even added a higher brightness headlight that is auto dimming. So that mountain driving is going to be fantastic uh, through and through. Uh, again, another pull out tray. You can also see road vac is right here. We've got our little um, hoses and you won't really need these in the Dutch star because you can sweep into that kick plate. So these hoses are great for the inside, but more importantly, you can vacuum off your dog. And then over here on the left, you can see these two little white boxes. Not only do you have a remote for your Gerard awning system, but you can also use those to uh, close your awnings. So if you have a windstorm pop up, and you're looking to get your awning shut, you can just go in here and simply push this button and close those awnings. Uh, now above us, you'll see we have another 43 inch smart TV and a sound bar, as well as two USB ports on the left and two 110 outlets. And you can also play the game on this, uh, on this uh, speaker outside. So if you're listening to the dash radio, maybe you're listening to the Rockies and you wanna listen to it outside, you can do that here. And then of course you can pour yourself a nice cold beverage because you've got top shelf and mix yourself all here in the center. No, I'm just kidding. They say that this is for tire shine. I think it sounds like a better place to keep the booze, but you know, everyone's got their different preferences. Now you might ask what this is. So this is gonna be uh, a, a water line. So this is a rain runoff line. And when you are in a Numar, uh, the entire roof of the coach is sealed. So Jody, can you just turn around and just take a, a little pop of that Ventana? So as you can see from this Ventana portrait right here, on both sides, it looks like you've got awnings. Well, on that port side, you don't have an awning system there, but what it's doing is you're actually encapsulating the entire top of that coach in a surround, like almost like a roof deck. And what that's doing is it's keeping your uh, all of your, um, air conditioners, all of your 
uh, max air vents, everything is up there tucked away underneath and it's giving you a protection for your satellite system, for your Wi-Fi system, everything is protected and cloistered in there. And then when that water catches to prevent runoff, it comes down through that little rain drain into this compartment and down through the slide so you don't get water lines going down your exterior. Now again, this is a custom ordered paint. Um, I just love this. It's got a lot of really nice subtle teals. Uh, some of this taupe color, a little darker taupey gray, and then that bright sidewall white. And again, 252 inch wheelbase with this fantastic tag axle. This passive tag axle does release like you would see the pin release from the rotor and it would allow the wheel to pivot. That is what allows this be to become your uh, the center of your turning radius because this wheel will turn for you. Um, just a really, really nice feature getting into tight spaces or more importantly, turning into tight turns um, on roads when you're going through little towns. I mean, this is a coach that's very maneuverable. Uh, now here we do have a 15 gallon def tank. And then we've got our two chassis batteries uh, back here as well. And you can see there's a power switch here. On the Spartan, there's two power switches. On the Freightliner chassis, there's a single power switch. Really doesn't make much of a difference. I think you turn them both on or both off uh, if you've got two switches or one. Again, we've got our 450 horsepower on our XCR chassis. We've got a camera up here for our surround camera. And then we've got our rear view camera as well. Uh, back here we have, of course, the marriage. Might as well just open this up. So this coach has also um, brake sync. So brake sync is something that gives you an extra cylinder of air that's charged. So your airline is already pre-wired for this coach. So all you need is that blue ox system on your tow vehicle. Uh, and then you're going to have your air brakes. But brake sync, actually, if you were to have a failure of a braking system, keeps that extra canister charged so you would also have the ability to, to brake your tow vehicle. And um, also in 2023, we have a system where you could add a Valor system to your tow vehicle and actually have tire pressure monitors not only on the dash for the RV, uh, for all eight of your tires on the RV, but also for the four tires on your tow vehicle, which is a nice, nice feature. Again, 8.9 liter ISL powering this 1,250 foot pounds of torque. As you can see, the marriage of the Cummins to the Freightliner in red is the Cummins and black is the Freightliner. Everything's easy to access. And that is, of course, because you do have on the Dutch Star, another uh, feature worth mentioning is a side radiator. So that side radiator is giving you a little easier access. And then you can see here, this little overflow is pretty low. If this Oasis uh, overflow tank goes down below this cold line, you will not have hot water or hydronic heat. So make sure you ask me for a free gallon of Oasis juice because it's really hard to get Amazon to deliver that to the forest. <laughs> okay, so over here is that side radiator that we mentioned earlier. Here's the other benefit to the coach that you have in a Dutch Star is that you've got a dual fill system for your depth, so you can fill on either side. Uh, you also have, uh, just like you have um, the optional MCD power shades in this coach, you also have an optional SantaCon system. So where this would normally be a place you could keep your uh, Blackwater hose, you could keep a spare here or some gloves, but you won't necessarily need your Blackwater hose because in the Dutch Star, you also can get this optional SantaCon system as you can see, it's a much, much more efficient hose system. It's power. Um, and then like we talked earlier about our whole house water filter that's right here. Uh, you also have your water hose on a power reel. You've got a nice outdoor shower with both hot and cold water. And then you have your gray water holding tank uh, rinse as well as your black water rinse. And then your um, you can have your auto fill turned on right here. So this is a nice lever, very easy to, to see. And then here's your SantaCon switch to turn that on and off. As you can see here though, you still could use a gravity hose if you wanted to do that. So both systems are available. I would probably keep a spare gravity hose myself uh, just out of, you know, I don't know, just to make sure you can get the poop out. <laughs> okay, this is a 50 foot power cord on a power reel. Another nice feature. This button comes up to the door. Uh, so that's another great feature. You don't have to bend down to turn that on. And then as you can see here, we do have our surge protector. 
and this is where you would plug cable in if you've got campground cable. Now to the left here is that dual loop Chinook system. Again, this is your hydronic system for not only your hot water giving you tankless hot water, but also giving you hydronic heat. So between the heated floors, the heat pumps, and the hydronic system, you've got three different ways to heat this coach in the winter, making it a very, very much all season coach. When you have this hydronic system, which is optional on the Dutch Star, uh, you also get what is called a thermostatically controlled bay. So in other words, if your coach realizes that you have your temperature set to a certain maybe 45 degrees and it starts to get too cool, it will heat these bays, preventing you from having freeze damage. So really nice feature to have an all electric coach. Um, as we saw, talked about earlier, just nice to have a little shelf up top here. Of course, we do have some cords bundled, uh, but it's just nice to have a little place to put something down. And then again, all the way out, 60%. And then this is a great opportunity to show some of these LED lights that we have on this coach uh, in these bays underneath. So if you do get to camp late at night, uh, you can very easily um, see in your coach while you're getting unpacked. In 2023, they made the doors easier to close. Uh, but they still have a great seal to them so you can see still going to keep all that, that liquid out and then again this is the optional um, upgraded system this coach normally comes with six batteries but when you go all electric you get eight batteries um, and we also have an option for a lithium ion battery pack uh, that's something we should definitely talk about i have this system i find that it's more than enough it's also going to be a lower maintenance cost and it's a lot less money. So if you're interested in understanding the differences uh, between the lithium ion pack or this eight battery system, give me a call. I'm happy to help answer those questions for you. Again, dual fill. This is the other half of your 100 gallon fuel tank. Some docking lights here. Very nice Alcoa aluminum rim. Again, these R22s are gonna give you that buoyancy going down that road, that great feel. And that in uh, partnership with your independent front suspension gives you a really nice driving coach. Uh, here you can see we can just release our uh, release right here. This is going to give us access to our eight kilowatt quiet diesel generator. Some extra fuses. Everything is very nice and neatly bundled as well. This is our side camera. So when you turn left or right, uh, you've got side cameras on this coach. And then also access here to your generator in the front. So of course the benefit of a diesel pusher is your engine is in the back, your generator's in the front. So if you do need to run your air conditioning at night, it's as far away from the bedroom as you can get. So that's great. You've got your hot water line here. Also this little air line here gives you access to all of your tires if you need to air up your tires as well. And then you've got that great air horn. And there's that mobile eye, the overhead camera. And again, this is just a beautiful specimen. Uh, this is a 2023 Numar Dutch Star. This is the 4071 floor plan. Again, special interior, special exterior, absolutely beautiful coach. Oh, and I don't think it's sold anymore. This coach is actually available for sale. Uh, the Hoppers brought this in to take a look at from Grand Junction, so that's why it's here today. Uh, so right now, you can make this coach yours. Um, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm coming to you live at 1030 from Trans West Truck Trailer RV every Monday. Please give me a call. Let me know how I can help get you out on the road and camping. If you would like to text me or email me, you're welcome to. My number is 303-562-8659. And again, thank you so much for tuning in with us on Monday.